All right, I'm recording, and uh, it's going to be just uh, – I, I do input listings really quick, so I'm going to record it. It'll be put on GroupMe and on uh, YouTube. So um, number one, you got to get the listing, which means I already went out, and I put a sign in the yard. I put a key box on the door. I have extra signs in my backyard, so I have 10. You can always borrow one, um, and I'm going to buy some key boxes in the second uh, – probably when I get back. Uh, from out of town in about a, uh, probably right around June one, I'll get key boxes, buy about 10 of them for people to borrow. Um, and then you go out and get the listing. You have the IBS, the seller's disclosure and the exclusive right to sell, you put a sign in the yard. I always tell the, um, the client, the seller that I will always want to have the photos before I put in the MLS. So I do have those and now I am ready to lock and load. So I'm going to go into the MLS. And going, we know what the MLS is. I think Porsche is the only one on right now. When you log into the MLS, you're going to go to input. Now, sometimes it looks like this because of the upgrade. And sometimes these tabs are across the top and input is over here, but you're going to get to input. And when you get to input, you're going to see, it says add new listing and you click on it. And then you have these choices. These are your, your um, categories, residential, uh, residential income, residential lease, land, commercial sale, and commercial lease. Well, this is a house. So I hit residential and then it asked me, where am I going to pull it from? About 99% of the time, you're going to pull it from the realist tax, which is this middle one here. You click on it and then you um, go over here and you type in the address and you hit search and you see if it comes up and you can see it in it. So you go again, and then you go over here, and you type in the county. Now, let me explain how to do this county real quick. When you go to county, it's going to have A's. All you got to do is select one, and then type real quick, Colin, and you'll see that. And then you hit search, and you can see that the property came up. So there it is. And then on the left, all I do is hit fill, and this is my MLS input sheet. I've got to go through every one of these tabs and get to status. But what I like to do is I like to go ahead and go to status right now. And I have to click active. It's already there. And then I hit submit property. And what it does is it tells you everything that you need to do. And I go left to right, like in everything I do. And I start with property info. So these are drop downs. This is a single family residence. I'm going to uh, click uh, properties attached. Yes. Listing agreement, exclusive right to sell. It's for sale. It's not for lease. We'll subdivide. No, it's a, it's a house it, that you can't subdivide a house. Housing type. I'm going to scroll down and it's a single detached. <clears throat> Over here at white, you don't have to fill it in, but it's traditional. Right here, the price, $550. And then I go to list date and I'm going to pick today's date, hit OK, and I'm going to go and the listing is up in three months and I pick the same day, the 17th. I hit OK. It's already pre-filled 2016. It's already pre-filled the square footage. It is the tax roll, so I have to pick that from the assessor. Right here it says, uh, is it pre-owned? Yes. And I scroll down. Construction, well, it's brick, and I don't need to fill out any of this shit right here because it's all in white. In yellow over here, multi-parcel, no. Now I'm going to hit submit, and you can see that that red dot went away. Now I go to the next one, location and schools. Most of it's pre-filled, but when I get down here, I do have to know the schools. So this is the Wiley School District, and George Bush is going to be the elementary and the middle school, actually the junior high is going to be McMillan. And then the high school is Wiley East. Okay, so you can see that everything auto-populated except for the schools.
and then I hit submit and you can see that that dot went away and I just keep going. Now this is where I have the measurements and I measured at the house and I'm old school. I measure with my feet. Uh, my feet are about uh, 12 inches. So that's a foot. So I just measure that way. Uh, I already know this house is a four bedroom. I know it has three full baths. I know it has zero half. I know that it's a single story. And I know that there is um, one living area. And I know that there is one dining room. So then it goes right here. And I always like to just start at the top. There's no basement. I don't do full baths. So yes, bedroom, there's four. First floor level. And then I'm going to, I have notes. And so one of the bedrooms is 16 by 15. And over here, it tells you what's in the house. And right here, it's going to say split bedrooms because they do have split bedrooms. Then you go right here and you click more and you have your next one. And I go, okay, there's another bedroom. And I'm going to hit the first floor. And then I know that one bedroom is 12 by 11. And I do like to go ahead and mark the same thing, split bedroom. And then I hit more again. Then I go to the next one and it's a four bedroom. So these will be the three bedrooms, not the master uh, first floor. And it's 13 by 12. And then I'm going to hit more. And now I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to a breakfast room. <clears throat> I'm going to hit one and I'm going to put the measurements of that uh, nook <clears throat> and it's 18 by uh, 16 by 12. Um, and again, uh, I'm going to hit more. And now I'm going to go to the next one. There's no dining room. There's a family room. I like to call it um, the living room. So I'm going to mark living room. I'm going to hit one. Everything's on the first floor. And then I have to know what the, what the main living room is. And so I made notes. And the main living room is 20 by 18. And there is a fireplace. And I hit more. And then I go back down. And I'm looking for the master bedroom. And you can see it's right there. And it completes the fourth bedroom. And I look at my notes. <coughs> And the master is 18 by 16. Now over here, it has uh, dual master sinks. Um, it has a separate shower. It has a linen closet. So what you have to do is you have to hit the control button. So I'm going to go to the top. And as I go down, you'll see that. So dual master uh, sinks. Yes. And then I hit the control. There is a closet. Uh, there is a separate shower. There's a walk-in closet. Okay. And then I hit more. All right. So now I need to kind of reflect and make sure I got all the rooms accounted for. So it's a four bedroom with one living and one one dining. So I looked at my notes and I've got the master. I've got bedroom two, bedroom three, bedroom four. I've got the living room. Um, <clears throat> and that looks like that's it. So in my head, I'm just redoing four bedroom. It's a four bedroom. It's got three baths. So I could go here and I could hit full bath. I could hit one. And I don't put the measurements for the bath. And then I go and hit another full bath. And I'm going to put a one next to it. And I don't put the measurements for the baths. And there's three full baths. So I'm going to put one more time. And I'm going to hit more. And then I just hit this drop down and make sure that nothing triggers me, you know, that I forgot something. So I've got basement, bath, bedrooms, bonus, breakfast, den, exercise, dining, family room, game room, guest suite, half bath, kitchen. Oh, the kitchen. So that made me remember that they do have a kitchen. <laughs> so I'm looking at the kitchen measurements. <clears throat>
and the kitchen is 20 by 14. Okay. Um, so I think I have almost everything when it comes to the measurements. <clears throat> so I have the dining room, I have uh, the master, got split bedrooms, bedroom, bedroom, uh, bay window, 20 by 18, living room, dining room. All right, cool. So um, now I'm going to hit submit after I look one more time and make sure. Yes, living room, laundry. That's perfect. All right. So I'm going to hit submit and you'll watch that red tab go away. Now I'm at the next tab. Features. Okay. Um, accessibility features. No. Uh, smart home. Yeah, they have a nest. Uh, yeah, they have a fireplace. Uh, carport. No. Covered. Yes. Garage. Yes. Garage spaces. Two. It is attached. It's a front entrance and it's 22 by 20. So the length by the width and the height, I mean, I don't know. It's got to be, I might say 12. I'm not worried about that. All right, I'm going to scroll down. Um, interior features, okay? Uh, it has cable TV if it's available. Um, as you go down here, it's just going to be common sense. There's nothing that I can really help you with. You're going to have to, it's got flat screen wiring. It's got high speed internet. It's got granite counters. It has a kitchen island. It has an open floor plan. See, that's subjective. Smart home system. Surround sound. It's got vaulted ceilings. It's got a walk-in closet. Okay. And then you go over. It's got no pool. So I'm going to hit no. Over here at fireplace. Yeah, they've got a fireplace. It's gas. And they have gas logs. <clears throat> Just go down a little further. Appliances built in. It's got a built in gas range. It's got a built in dishwasher. It's got a built in disposal. It's got a gas cooktop. It's got gas water heater. It's got an ice maker. Well, I'm sorry. No, I'm not going to put that. It's got a built in micro. It's plumb for ice maker. So you see, you just kind of look, look through this. All right, parking features. It's a two garage and it's front entrance. So I'm going to A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm going to get to F. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start at the top. All right, let's see here. So it's... Uh, Two car double. It's covered, that's obvious. It's a garage. It's got an opener. Faces front. It's lighted. There's a light that comes on. Inside entrance. And I think that's good enough. Um, okay, then you go over to appliances, and uh, we already have that. We go to foundation. And again, I'm not an expert. It's a slab foundation, though. I do know that. Security, um, it's got, you know, um, on security, I'm just going to put um, security system on because I know it is. Scroll down a little more. more. The roof is going to be a comp, so that's composition. Laundry features, um, it's got a hookup. It's uh, in the utility room, uh, full side washer, dryer area. And yes, there's a, wash, a washer hookup. Flooring, uh, they have uh, wood. <clears throat> they have some carpet. And they have some tile. Uh, patio and porch, it is covered, and there is a patio. Window features, there's bay windows for sure. 
there's plantation shutters, and there's window coverings. Other equipment, um, I don't know if there's going to be anything in this. Okay, nothing there. Special notes, nothing there. And with that, if I scroll down, community features, this is pretty cool because there's a clubhouse, uh, there's a community pool. Okay, there, it's, they got a green belt. <clears throat> now, what I did also is I printed another listing in there just to kind of get an idea. And, um, you know, you'll be able to kind of look at some of their stuff too. But uh, they have a clubhouse, community pool, a fitness center, clubhouse, community pool, uh, fitness center. Uh, green belt, uh, jogging, there's a lake, there's a park, there's a playground, there's sidewalks, that's obvious. Okay, and then you hit submit. And now we're, okay, now notice how that tab still has that red. It will tell you what is missing. And right there it says basement. There's no basement. So now you hit submit and it goes away and we're on to lot, lot info. All right, so over here, lot info. So um, this is where it gets to be a little subjective. Um, it is in a cul-de-sac. Okay, few trees. That's fine because I'm about to put, there's a lot of trees. It's an interior lot. It's landscaped. It's an irregular lot. That's all subjective. It's got a large backyard. It's got many trees. It's got a sprinkler. It's in a subdivision. These are all like search criteria. And that's why you want to, you know, always look. Okay, exterior features. Okay, it's got... Um, Got a covered deck, it's a covered backyard. Okay, and then you get to restrictions. I leave that alone. Type of fence, it is um, wood. Let's just go to the bottom. Wood, easements, I don't get involved with. Soil, I'm not a geologist. Vegetation, I'm not a farmer. Waterfront, I know there's not one. Okay, I don't worry about any of this. And I hit submit. And you can see that there's still a thing. So you got to go over here and you click it. And it's going to be less than half an acre, but it's not a zero lot line. Now you hit submit. And we're to our next one, utilities. All right, utilities, we got, um, that's going to be city sewer. So you're going to put some of these in, and then, of course, I'm going to help you. Um, when you input your listing, but a lot of this is just uh, common sense. Um, all right, uh, heating, uh, it's gas heat. So I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, there's fireplace. It's gonna be natural gas. Okay, it's sewn. Central. <clears throat> Attic, cooling, there's ceiling fans, it's central air, it's electric. It's zoned. And then it is in a mud district. All right, and then I'm gonna hit submit. 
and you can see that two went away. So now I'm doing financial. We're almost there. This is good training. I'm not worried about listing terms. Um, we're not worried about that. Possession is negotiable always. Treat as clear as the loan type, and there's no second mortgage. Um, but right here, I am going to put uh, truly title. And I'm going to put their phone number, and that's why it's always good to have the sponsor list in your phone, which I do, because I don't have it off the top of my head. Um, but right here, I just found it. And um, <clears throat> 214 Okay. And then address, we know that's where we train, Dallas Parkway. Okay. I think that's good enough right there. Um, and then I'm going to hit submit. And you can see that that went away. HOA, that's always going to be important. Okay. The HOA. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, type this puppy in. Um, it's semi-annual. It's mandatory. I'm going to get this from the seller. Semi-annual. The dues are 537. HOA management. My phone number. You get this from the seller. And then over here it says HOA includes, and I mean, again, it's going to be <clears throat> full use of facilities. That'll be the easiest thing. And then hit submit, and we're almost done. Agent office. All right, this will be good for y'all to know. So agent ID, um, number one, it's going to be <clears throat> see if this works here 62 one three five seven we're going to do that supervisor that's not me there's another douglas so that's not me that's me. Hey, commission is going to be 3%. So you put a three there, and then right here it says percentage. We don't do sub agency, so zero and the percent sign. Uh, no variable fees. Holist agent. Me. Submit. And you can see that that went away. So now we're just showing. All right, so we have uh, special listing conditions, okay? Uh, it's none of these, so I'm not worried about that. Um, consent for visitors to record. I'm not going to consent to that. Uh, showing attended. Yes. No, you don't have, we don't have to do that. Uh, lockbox type is going to be a blue Bluetooth. I don't really worry about the key box number, so I just put one, two, three, four. Showing is going to be an appointment only, appointment service. And over here, you're going to scroll down and mark showing time. And then it's good to always know the phone number, showing time. And that is 817 I'm going to scroll down a little, showing instructions, appointment required, call CSS. Okay. Everything else looks pretty golden here. Lock bus location, front door, document type, owner, owner name. Armstrong, 
and hit submit. Okay, you can see that it's still there. So I have to go over here and I have to mark something. So third party approval, probate, short sale, standard individual. Okay, now I'm going to hit submit and it should go away. All right, we got one more and then we're going to make it active. I'm going to load photos and we'll be out of here. This is already by default what the home is listed in. You want to have yeses for all this. Don't mess around with it. Public directions. I just put C, GPS. I don't tell them how to get there. And then this is where um, sometimes I think that you can, you know, try to be too cute, but you can also just make it something like this. Most sought after floor plan in Texas. And let me get it quick. My Bear with me a second. This is part of live training. The good news is it'll be recorded. So All right, so I usually put something like uh, most sought after floor plan in or Texas, four bedroom, three full bath, it's summertime, shade as backyard faces, northeast. Or patio. A C to believe all the upgrades. Granite counters, drop sink, coupled with stainless steel appliances. Gas starter and logs at fireplace, hardwoods throughout, four bedrooms include. Split master and an in law suite separated from other two bedrooms. <clears throat> Backyard has gas bib for your outdoor cooking. Front entrance garage includes full sprinkler. that's good enough to the point um it's four bedroom three bath and um boom okay uh i don't care about any of this down here i hit submit listing and just like that i'm going to get an mls number booyah okay so now i have the mls number while i'm here you have these options but just know this that now it is in the mls you can click right here add edit photos when you click add edit photos it's going to ask you to browse and find them so now you have to find them on your computer and I've already downloaded them. <clears throat> They're going to be under downloads. And right there, I double click. And here they are. And I'm going to basically go and check mark each one. 
And I'm sure there's a way to check them all, but I'm not that smart. It's just all right. You don't have to be real smart to be successful. What you have to do is you have to grind. I met these people years ago and I'm helping them close on a house. That's $721,000 next week. And I'm listing this home for zero. And the reason I'm doing it is because they've been my clients for about 20 years. And I'm in love with the husband's father. He is, the wife's name is LaCoya and her father-in-law lives with him. And his a name is Walter Armstrong. And he's just incredible. He's a Vietnam vet, uh, just confided in me today what he did in Vietnam. Um, some stories that he told me, just absolutely incredible. And so I want to help them. And so what I'm doing is I'm foregoing my commission on the sale of their home in order for them to net more because he's 100% disabled and they're buying a home with the, his veteran benefit. And so I'm listing the home for zero on my end. So what that means is that when I list the home for 550, there's going to be a commission, but it's only 3% to the buyer's agent. I'm doing open house this weekend, 12 to 2, and I might get the buyer myself. If I get the buyer myself, then I'll get the 3%. But if I don't get a buyer and it's traditionally brought by another firm, then I won't make any money. But in a week and a half, the commission off of $720,000 home um, is a pretty good commission. It's over 20000 So again, what I try to do is I look at the long-term play. I'm going to be in real estate for a while. Um, I'm going to be their client. I've already been, they've already been my client three times. And um, I'm going to, I'm going to be theirs forever. And the reason that I'm going to be like that forever is because they know me, they like me and they trust me. Um, I've gone through COVID times with them. Um, I've gone through a family tragedy in their life and I'm a friend as well as a realtor. And, um, at the end of the day, uh, that's what is going to be, um, your ticket to getting repeat business is you treat everybody as an end, not a means to an end. So um, what this is doing is it's loading uh, photos. I got these photos from Brandon Stevens. Uh, he's a realtor in our company and he does virtual photography. So he's downloaded 32 photos. So there they are. And I'm okay with the way they're presented there. And I'm just gonna get Booyah, hit certify and save. And I'm going to wait and it's going to say that they have been uploaded. I might have to actually, you no. Know. So it's just the computer is thinking and in just a second, it'll be done. I don't do descriptions below each one. Um, but at the end of the day, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I have it right here. And uh, I'm going to now, just to show you, I'm going to go back to my matrix. And now this is what it looks like when we log in. And for Tim that's watching, this is what your MLS looks like. So now if you wanted to find that home, all you'd have to do is go to street number and go 1815 and then just type in mourn, even though it's morning mist, mourn or M-O-R. Hit search and one property is going to come up. That's active. And there it is. And when you click on it, it's got the photos. Okay. And we did all this just now. That's everything inputted right there. And you can see here, I sometimes want to look at it again to make sure I'm right. So two bedrooms, there's the third, there's the master, there's the kitchen, there's the living room, and there's the breakfast nook. It's perfect. Okay. And then you go down and you can see there's the remark section. I like to read it to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Most sought after floor plan in North Texas, four bedroom, three bath with summertime shade as backyard patio faces Northeast. Must see to believe all the upgrades, granite countertops, drop sink, couple with stainless steel appliances, gas starter and logs at fireplace, hardwoods throughout, four bedrooms include split master and an in-law suite separated from the other two bedrooms. Backyard has gas bib for your outdoor cooking. Front entrance garage includes full sprinkler, CGPS. I think it's to the point, it's pretty tight. And that concludes the training for today. Y'all be safe.